Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and today we're going to be talking all things Instagram stories. I'm going to share 15 awesome, creative, and trendy ways to spice up your Instagram stories using only the Instagram app. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, let's start off with a few basics that you may not have known Instagram was capable of doing. These are a few simple tricks that will create endless options for you when you're creating your content. Number one, the color slider. This tool is awesome and not many people utilize it. When you click on the pen tool in the top right corner, you'll be given a few basic color options to choose from. All you need to do to access the full spectrum is press and hold any of the colored circles. After a second, the full spectrum will appear. You can slide to any of the three palettes they give you to really maximize your options. Number two, the color picker. This is another great tool that is located to the left of those colored circles. It allows you to choose any color from the photo you're posting, which can automatically bring a super aesthetically pleasing vibe. Number three, the white out screen. Have you ever wanted a solid colored background, but just colored it in by hand? Or maybe Googled plain white background and threw it onto your story? I definitely did that a lot. This is a super easy trick to make a completely solid background super easily. All you do is select the pen tool after taking any random photo, select the color you want, then press and hold anywhere on your photo. It will then give you a fresh, clean slate to add gifts, words, or anything else. Okay, so you've got the basics down. Let's get into some actual techniques that will take your Instagram stories to the next level. Number one, the drop shadow. This one is super easy and gives a whole new look to your words. I think the strong font definitely looks best, but you can try it out with any of the Instagram fonts. All you need to do is write out what you want to say, copy it, and paste. Each time you paste it, select a different color using either the color picker or slider to choose exactly what you'd like. I love the look of the drop shadow corresponding well with the colors from the photo. Try not to resize the letters because then it gets a little trickier, but all you need to do is layer them on top of each other, kind of at an angle so the bottom layers can be seen. Layer as many as you'd like for a super fun touch to any post. Number two, add spaces between your letters. This is a super simple idea but can make a huge difference. If you're wanting a Tumblr-esque vibe, definitely try spacing out your letters for a super cool feel. Number three, individual letters. Going along with that last tip, typing each letter individually can bring endless options when it comes to writing out cute posts. You can let the letters follow the curve or shape of an object, stagger them, or even create a block letter type look. Number four, spiral around an object or a person. This is a super fun one that's also super easy. All you want to do is draw your spiral on top of the subject that you want to appear to be in the center. Then take the eraser tool and erase the parts of the spiral that you want to be the back of the loop. So it looks like it's wrapping around the person or object. This is awesome for drawing attention to a subject or just adding a little fun twist to your post. Number five, mixing fonts. This tip is probably pretty self-explanatory, but I felt the need to share it. Instagram has some awesome fonts that you can use, so why not try mixing and matching to create a unique look? Typically, it's safe to pair a blocky font with a cursive or more dainty font, but have fun with it and see what you can come up with. There are no rules to break. Number six, the sneak peek. In the basic tools, I mentioned covering the whole screen in a solid color. This tip is awesome for letting your followers know that you have a new post without them actually seeing the full photo. Simply add in your photo that you shared, select the pen tool, the color you want, and press and hold on the screen to cover the photo. Then take your eraser tool and erase what you want them to see. You can get super creative with this one and add letters, stickers, or anything else to add a personal touch. 
Number seven, create a color palette. This is more of an aesthetically pleasing story idea that doesn't really have much purpose aside from that, but it can be super cute. All you do is select the color picker tool and start picking out colors from your photo. You can draw shapes, designs, or anything else to accentuate those colors. It looks super cute and very Pinterest-esque, which I love. Try it on OOTDs, food pictures, sunset pics, or anything else that inspires you. Number eight, the gradient effect. This one takes a bit more skill to do, but once you get the hang of it, it's super fun. All you need to do is type out your words, then highlight them. Once you do that, go down to your color slider and choose a general direction you want the colors to flow in. With one finger on the highlight and one on the slider, you're going to move the highlight one letter at a time while simultaneously moving your finger on the slider. The options are endless with this one and you can create some gorgeous ombre lettering. Number nine, mix fonts in words. Similar to before, but a little more daring, try mixing different fonts together in words to give a super fun and quirky look. Number 10, the circle backdrop. As you know, you can give your photos a backdrop so it stands out from the rest of the photo. Another fun way to do that is to draw dots with the biggest pen tool and add in each individual letter. This gives a super whimsical, fun vibe, especially for summer. Number 11, doodle. Don't be afraid to add your own personal touch by adding hand-drawn dots, stars, lines, or anything else. It can totally take your story to the next level and make it super unique. Number 12, blocks. This is a super awesome one. All you need to do is type anything with a strong font, then put a backdrop on it. Once you've done that, highlight what you wrote and change the letter color to match the backdrop. This gives you a blank box with endless options to work with. Layer them, stack them, and make it your own. Number 13, stickers. Did you know that you can make a collage with multiple photos without using a second party app? All you need to do is take any random photo and create a solid color background of your choice. You can change the color later too if you want. Go over to your photos without killing the Instagram app and choose which one you want to add to your story. Select the photo and hit copy. Then go back to the Instagram app and it should pop up in the bottom left corner saying add sticker. Click on it and it will appear. You can do this with as many photos as you'd like and you can even flip the images to give a unique look. Number 14, right on the border. This goes hand in hand with the last photo sticker tip. Follow the same steps and leave a border around your photo. You can write song lyrics or any other caption, just follow the shape of the photo around the perimeter. You can also draw borders with the pen tool, creating different shapes, outlines, and so much more. Number 15, right off the screen. This is a super fun one and personally one of my favorites. You can use it for song lyrics or any short saying or caption. Copy and paste is gonna be your best friend for this one. All you need to do is type out what you wanna say, then highlight and copy. Keep pasting and repeating while staggering each time to create a constant flow of words down the page. You can get super creative with this and it's just a fun little twist. All right, those are my 15, but I wanted to share two little bonuses with you. These are two of my favorite apps that I use for making Instagram stories. Now I know that they don't really leave Instagram super independent. I thought that I'd throw them in here because I use them all the time for stories as well. Number one, Unfold. Unfold is an app that allows you to make gorgeous collages and has the most stunning fonts to choose from. This will take your creativity to the next level and is super awesome for businesses wanting to share a bit more information with their following. I use it to share my available dates, session details, highlights, and so much more. Number two, Mojo. I get asked about this one all the time, but Mojo basically creates this gorgeous video collage for your story. And it's the perfect touch when maybe introducing yourself on your story, sharing travel photos, or just highlights from your last session. All right, you guys, there are some of my favorite Instagram story hacks. Give this video a like if you plan on trying any of these tips and make sure to leave your Instagram handle in the comments so that I can go check out your super cute new stories. 
And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and click that little bell so you never miss a video. Alright, I will see you in my next video.